Hey, welcome back to the Nines of Rad. In this video, I'm going to talk about my five favorite VHS finds. So ever since I started collecting VHSs a couple years ago, I found some really awesome ones. And these five are just ones that just really stand out. So this list, I just want to say, is in no particular order. And the reason why these are my favorite it's just the stories that go along with them. And yeah, I, I don't know. I just have a special connection or a cool story that goes with them. So starting the list off at number five, we have Good Burger. Now this is a movie I used to rent all the time. When I would go up north and spend like the summer with my aunt and my grandma, visit her, I would always rent Good Burger from like Hollywood Video, a blockbuster. There's my go-to movie. And I always wanted it on VHS again, but I just could never find it. Then I found it at Goodwill for a dollar. And I was like, yes, now I do have it on DVD. It's not a legit copy. It's just one of those movies that I just love. It's hilarious. It's funny. It's just, it's Good Burger. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend you do it. It's just, it's great. It's a classic. It's funny for adults. It's funny for kids. And it just has a good story. Coming in at number four is Beverly Hills Cop. Now this is one I just recently got. Obviously, I have this on Blu-ray, I have it on DVD. I love this movie, but what makes the VHS so special is it was about a couple months ago, I was just going thrifting. And in my head, I was like, I'm gonna find Beverly Hills Cop today. Sure enough, I walk into a thrift store, there it is. I'm like, that's so bizarre. Like just the fact that I was it was like I was psychic, you know? <laughs> Not actually psychic, but it was just cool. And it's like, I was like, I'm gonna find it today. And I found it. So this is one of my favorite movies. It's definitely in like my top 10 favorite movies of all time. It's a good movie if you've never seen it. Uh, it it's great, it's hilarious. The box art, pretty simple, very 80s, just plain and simple. But you got Eddie Murphy sitting on a Mercedes. What's, what's more awesome than that? Coming in at number three is Darkwing Duck. Now, what makes this so special, besides the fact that it's Darkwing Duck, and Darkwing Duck is amazing, is that I was actually at Goodwill really early in the morning. It was like, right when they opened, there was a guy checking out in front of me who had a bunch of Disney cartoon VHSs. He had like some Chippendale, uh, and I, I was standing behind him with this, and he looked at me and he's like, where'd you find that? I was like, it was over with the VHSs. And he just, like, look at his face. He was so pissed. It was, it was just funny. And he was, like, trying to, like, buy it off me. I'm like, no, man, I, I want it. Like, I'm buying it for a reason, because I want it. So it was pretty cool. It was just funny. He was, yeah, he was, he was a little jealous. It was this and a Chip and Dale movie. I don't know exactly where that is, though. But this, plus the box art on this, is just awesome. So, got the yellow, the purple, and the blue. Can't go wrong with that. It's cool. It's Darkwing Duck. If you've never seen it, check it out. It's a great 90s cartoon. Coming in at number two is The History of Trunks. Now, this is my original copy I've had since it came out. <laughs> so, I actually bought this. I believe the place was called Coconuts. It was in New Jersey. Uh, I just, I love Dragon Ball Z. And this... I bought with my own money. Uh, I don't remember how old I was. I think I was like 10, something like that. But uh, the box art is great. If you haven't seen History of Trunks, it's basically about the history of Trunks. So it's a, it's about the history of future Trunks, how he came into the Dragon Ball Z timeline. And it's just, it's awesome. It's Dragon Ball Z. has a great soundtrack. The story is great. It's emotional. It's only 46 minutes, which I thought it was longer when I was younger, but it's great. It's honestly, it's great. And it's one of the few VHSs I've had since I was a kid. Coming in at number one is Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. The reason why this is my favorite. For one, it's one of my favorite cartoon animation movies of all time. I know cartoon animation, same thing. But it's one of my favorites of all time. The reason why it's my favorite VHS is because... It's just look at that box art, man. <laughs> it's Scooby-Doo. This is seriously one of those movies that when I was younger, me and my little brother, my little brother and I, whatever, 
whatever. <laughs> we would watch all the time. And I still watch it. I still love it. And it's just one of those movies that every time I see it out, like, while I'm thrifting, I always buy it. So I have, like, three or four copies of it on VHS. Uh, this one is actually my original one from when I was a kid. So it's awesome. I can't believe it's still in good shape, though. It's a little dirty. But, yeah, Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, it's great. I actually just watched this last night. So that's how much I love this movie. It's fantastic. Those are my five favorite VHSs. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you have any favorite VHSs? Any favorite DVDs? Let me know, like I said, in the comments down below. I also have my Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon link down below. It's as awesome as Dana Smith. She helps support the channel. You can too. That being said, stay rad, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.